The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to Game Shift. On tonight's show, we got Overwatch, The Long Dark, What Remains of Edith, Edith Finch, and Army of Two. Join us. Tonight we have special guest Jason from from my work, <laughs> so he's on he's on with us. The first uh, video I brought in is of Overwatch, um, and Jason, thanks for being on the show with me. Oh, you're welcome, <laughs> helping me out. Um, so this is Overwatch. Basically, I've uh, I, I I'm really late to the ball on this one because uh, I I I didn't. I didn't buy it when it first came out. I just bought it over the Christmas holiday, actually. I bought it for Drew, and then he got it also on the PC. <laughs> so he's playing both. But um, Blizzard can't do anything wrong. Like, this game is, is awesome, the way they did it. All the characters are pretty well balanced. So you go against each other, uh, teams. There's certain things you can do, like uh, escort things to certain locations and, you know, basically fighting people off. But, I mean, uh, you know, first-person shooter with... Really powerful weapons. Uh, right now, I think we're escorting the, the. Does that say destroy? I can't tell. Escort. Escort. So we're we're escorting the vehicle to a certain location, and they have to stop us. They have to try to destroy it or kill us all, or have more kills than us. But if we get it to the location, we win. So uh, I'm all right at this game. <laughs> yeah. I've heard only good things about this game. Um, I've been meaning to pick it up for a while now. It's been on my uh, my wish list, I guess. Um, but it's um, everybody that I've talked to that has played it has said it has been um, just fantastic. Uh, so I'm, I've been looking forward to getting in, uh, involved in this also. Um, yeah, it's, it looks uh, like, I guess, one of the uh, latest, best uh, class-based mul uh, multiplayer games that they have. Um, Oh, I'm, uh, but you, yeah, you, you should it. pick it up. I, 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 Drew picked it up for the PC, and it's still like uh, 60 bucks to get into. But I mean, for that price, you get like 28 characters right out of the box now. When you first bought it, it was like nine characters or something, but they've been adding. Uh, and there's always add-ons. There's always like holiday specials. There's like special levels for like Christmas. They had this whole snowball thing. So it, it's really cool. Uh, and they're always adding on like new people, new characters, like uh, special abilities, stuff like that. They change the levels of some of the characters if they're too powerful, and they, you know, there's a clear advantage over one character to the other. They'll they'll you know adjust the, the um, characters. It's pretty cool. And they just started the league, so the, now they have like uh, you have to be level 20, which I'm not yet, but I'm I'm gonna try and join a league when I can, which would be pretty cool. And I wonder if it's uh, I wonder if it's compatible like PC to Xbox because then you could be in the league with me and then we could play. I don't know if it is though. Oh, yeah, I know a lot of companies are trying to get that um, cross platform going. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to look and uh, see if this one is, is available um, for that. But that would be very cool. Yeah, and then we could both play and be on the, be on our own league. Mm. I'm just getting used to the characters actually because this is like. I only started playing this like two days ago, <laughs> so so I'm getting used to the characters. But I mean, uh, you you can also see who kills you. They sh they kind of rub it in your face because they Online. throw up the kill cam on you. Who killed you? And you can see, and then you respawn and do it again. But it's a fun game. Like I have, I have nothing but fun playing this. It get it's very exciting. Um, it's good to like kind of stay away from the area, and then you can shoot. Like if you have a distance, a person who can shoot at a distance, like I have here. Um, it's good to kind of hide and lurk around corners and figure out where people are or where they're coming from, and, and you just kind of stay at a distance and take them out. That works really well. I, I, I didn't uh, get it on video, but I actually had a five-hit uh, uh, kill streak oh, wow. going, and I was so psyched. And then at the end, it shows like the best character like of that of that um, uh, level. And like I didn't get a replay. I was like, "Oh, come on!" <laughs> yeah, I know after five kills, I know I should have had something. Mm. It's it's definitely interesting, but I mean, uh, I had doubts in this game from the beginning. I don't know why. I was just like, "Blizzard's doing that. Like, 
why aren't they doing a new Diablo or something? But first-person shooter tournament made specifically for like tournaments is, is pretty good. They did a very good job at it. Tons of characters. Uh, I don't know. I picked this one because it reminds me of uh, Gotcha Man from Japan. She has this mask on that looks like a bird. Uh, yeah, so I picked that character because I was a big fan of that show, Battle of the Planets. Oh, okay. You ever see that? <laughs> no, I've never oh. seen that. You gotta see that. Battle of the Planets, I'll check it out. Or Gotcha Man. <laughs> it's, it's Gotcha Man in Japan, but over here it's Battle of the Planets. So that's why I picked this character and it worked out well because she's uh, pretty powerful. Like a long range uh, type of... Yeah, um, and then she has like a, another thing where she does like uh, that blue ball that goes out and explodes and then you, know, you can also do like um, death from above so you can jump really high and shoot down like a ton of missiles. So yeah, so th this is my team there. And then now we have the long dark, which we saw when Kevin was on the show, we saw the uh, cut scene of this. But uh, I just decided, it's on sale now, so I decided to grab it. Um, trying to figure out, because this had, there's no instructions to this game. They just drop you off, you crash landed, you gotta survive. So I'm figuring out how to keep my fire going for a certain, you know, I think I can get it going for like three hours here. I'm trying to melt snow which I thought you just put the fire near the snow, melt it, and you could put it in a container and drink it or something, but there's a little more to that. Um, I think I'm pretty close to figuring it out right here, though. So I'm walking around, and you, you can freeze to death. You'll, you get a little uh, uh, heart regulator that tells you when you're cold. You get a thing that tells you when you're hungry, thirsty, you know, uh, stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. And he'll actually say, oh, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> so he tells you a little bit. Yeah, he tells you kind of what to do. I got some kerosene there for fires, <laughs> trying to figure out the menu system here. I stink at these types of games in the first place, but so I'm trying to figure it out. I, I, I'm seeing the equipment that I have here, trying to see. Now, so I did notice already maybe earlier in the game on, on here is that uh, you can find stuff around you, like these um, water purification tabs. So I'm like, okay, how do I use them? I'm thinking I have to find a container. So I, that's what I'm trying to do now, is find a container. But well, I guess you don't need a container. You already have one. <laughs> so, you just start with one. Yeah, so this is the cave. I figured, you know, it tells you put the, put the fire in the cave because the cave will protect it. You know, it'll keep it going longer from wind and stuff like that. So I already had a fire going in the cave, but I'm going to make another one. All right. I'm still trying to figure out how to make the water, though. You'll see, I, I do get it. So now you, you, your time limit comes up for, for making a fire. You just got to hold the button. Basically, when you're making a fire, like, your life could still trickle down, or you could die from, like, hypothermia. Oh, <laughs> so, wow. so you got to figure that out. And so while you're trying to create a fire to stay warm, you could actually uh, you could freeze to death. <laughs> right, exactly. So I'm in the cave, so it gives me a little bit more protection from the wind or whatever. Um, I don't know if I can do anything with those bones. You can't really pick them up or anything. I tried. <laughs> so now I get the campfire. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna make it last longer with some sticks. I think this is where I figure out how to do the fire now. You can also find materials and, and can you craft like a, like clothing and, and other. Uh... No, um, I'm not sure about clothing. There we go. I got some snow there, but um, you can get bandages and stuff like that, and uh, you know, so it's it's crucial to do that stuff. But I don't think you can craft clothing or anything. Oh, okay. I know you can like. So you get bandages or you get like stuff like that and you wrap them around your leg and if it's infected you can get like uh, hydrogen peroxide, stuff like that. Mm. You, and you can take like um, antibacterial medicine. <laughs> so it's pretty neat. So now I think, did I just drink the water? <laughs> oh, I think you did. Um, so I made water and then I, oh, I think I still have to purify the water. There we go. Yeah, see it's bad water, I can't drink that, I'll get sick. So I have to, uh, now I'm figuring out how to purify the water. Enjoy. There we go. So this is going to tell me how to purify the water. It's going to bring up the, I'll bring up the tabs. What was that? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I was just going to say these games that you're all, you have to, you know, I, I really like the games where it kind of drops you into it and uh, there's no instruction, no tutorial. You just kind of, kind of have to figure it out. I've been, um, I kind of find those um, uh, a lot of fun to get into. Yeah. It takes a while though for me to. Uh, <laughs> it does, it, it, and, and once you figure out the, the system, 
you'll be better at the game, but it's, it's taken me a, I feel like it takes me longer to figure out the system, but it's probably normal, because I'm just like trying to get to the next level. This is day three. I've been on this mountain for three days now. <laughs> you, you're just waiting to be rescued, I guess, because someone will come searching for the plane and you get the uh, campfires going, so they'll see those. So this is the story mode you're playing? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this isn't even the survival mode. I played the survival mode, and I made it not as far as Kevin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kevin made it to like 30-something uh, days. I made it to like three. <laughs> oh, wow. And that can go on indefinitely. You just try to survive as long as yep. uh, you yeah, can. Yeah, as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> so that mode comes with the game as well. Oh, so now I'm on day three. See, the, that's as far as I made it because I saved it, and I was, I was like done for now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, you, you know, things change, so you sleep, you get back up, you got to make another fire, keep it going. I mean, it's definitely like there's a little bit of an art style to it, so it's a little different than like other games. But uh, yeah, so so next I got What Remains of Edith Finch. I gave uh, Long Dark uh, a 9. I gave Overwatch a 10. I didn't even say that. 10 <laughs> phalanges, 9 phalanges. Um, <laughs> What Remains of Edith Finch is, uh, I, I give it an 8 for 8 phalanges because um, it, it's pretty good. It's, it's really like uh, everything I wish uh, um, it would be. Like you, you, get, um, you get to walk around this really well graphic area and like, you know, you're walking around and then you find the house, you get in the house and you find all these hidden rooms. So like each person, of, each member of her family has a room in the house obviously and like you find out what happened to that person. So like, uh, um, this is like one of the family members has like photos, she finds the photos and then you gotta go through and figure out um, what happened. You know, why did this person, most of the relatives, she'll say right at the beginning of the game, passed away at some, uh, there's a situation with every character. So you're just trying to gather information, figure out, and you're like the last uh, remaining Finch still alive. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, like a, uh, the graphics I heard were very beautiful, and you kind of walk through this uh, this like crafted environment to, um, you know, like you said, discover uh, more about the the family. Right, exactly. This is what I wish Dear e Dear Esther was more like. <laughs> so you saw my video of Dear Esther, where I did not like that much, because it's a Dear Esther is a graphic adventure, but like you just you you walk through a maze pretty much, and then you're done with the game. This is more like you know. Uh, you can interact with stuff. You find trap doors. You you know you can you, you got to lift windows up, go outside, do stuff like that. It's, it's a very strange game, but it's really good. So you figure stuff out. Right now, you got to figure out what you're supposed to be taking a picture of, and then like she'll give you little hints. But you know you got to find it. So I'm supposed to be taking pictures of. I'm supposed to uh, take a picture of a moose here or a deer. And I'm supposed to like, it's so I can't find it. I'm looking all over the place. I'm like, I'm taking pictures. Why is it not moving on? So I figured I had to, he's talking about a path that's there. So I'm thinking I got to take a picture of the path and go down there but um, and show him where the path is through the picture. But it, that didn't work. So now I know that I have to take a picture of a deer. But they put these rocks up that looks like a deer. It's tricking me. <laughs> Finally, I think. And I'm like, a deer would be like, high above us or hiding somewhere. So I find it, I think right now I'm gonna find it soon. Oh, oh. There it is. <laughs> and that's that's that whole level, is just trying to get like that picture of the, now I go on to the next spot and look, I have to take another photo. But you have to figure out what you're supposed to take a photo of. The, of the and the only hint is, Dad, I'm right here. So you know you gotta take a picture of her. <laughs> so. So it'll give you hints as you go through, and you just have to keep uh, trying to figure it out, and uh, exactly. then you can move to the next area. Or the and it's and it's interesting because you can see like uh, you know there's there's each person has a different little story like this. So one of them was like pretty much a comic book, and you were changing just changing the pages on the comic book. But I mean, hey, they're all different. Yeah. And they all have their own little. So see, there I am taking a picture now. Now what's she supposed to be shooting? She's supposed to take out a deer. This is interest. This is the interesting part of it, right? Yeah, really. But like, this is just one level. This is like still very early in the game, but there's like 20 relatives or something, or maybe you know 15 or something. So you got to go through each each of them's a level. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it would take a while to complete. It's not like a quick game. 
Exactly, and it doesn't tell you. So I, I didn't realize I'm taking a picture up there, but I'm supposed to. Uh, I'm supposed to not take a picture up there, and he sets the timer, and I'm supposed to walk up there and meet her with the deer. She's crying like I killed it. Oh my! <laughs> so I'm supposed to go up there and like you know get a picture with him and her, which he's one of her relatives. So one of uh, not Edith, but the girl who goes back to the house. Um, you know, it's a different character. It's one of the one of the kids or grandkids. I don't know yet. So it's too early. So there, I figured it out. Now I'm going to go up there and uh, see what's going on. It's twitching. I think it's totally so normal, Doc. I take a picture. <laughs> Watch that. That's a perfect picture. <laughs> I, I actually, you actually take that picture. So there I am. Now I'm back at the house. But that's how like you get it in and out of levels. And this book is like the ones that you've already completed. So you can see there's a there's well, there's not as many. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe ten, ten relatives that I can see there. Hmm. So that's how that relative died, unfortunately. That's a horrible death. <laughs> it is. You, get, you think the deer is dead, and you you know you go to take a photo with it, and it kicks you off yeah. the cliff. That's <laughs> still alive. That's awful. Oh, well, that's interesting, though. Yeah. So now we have Army of Two, which you can play two players. And uh, you there's, there's a little bit of a learning curve to this one. Um, very easy to die. It's a very difficult game to play, but uh, if you're playing two players, like I could shoot at the guys, they're gonna only shoot at me, so I draw all their fire, and then you could like sneak up behind them and shoot them. But when you're playing with your um, AI here, he's not really good at that, so I keep shooting the bad guys, and they're only coming after me. So he he doesn't sneak around the back of them and get them or anything. He just kind of stands around, and he's there to help you like climb up cliffs. <laughs> if you're playing two players, one guy could like uh, boost the other guy up to a, a, a ledge, and then the other guy could grab his hand and he can pull you up. So so that's like all the parts of like uh, Army Army of Two is basically like, you know, you're on special missions. Um, you know, sp you get into the special forces and they send you on these uh, um, missions that people are paying you for. So that's all you are, is like a gun for hire. <laughs> but it really does, uh, you're saying it's much better with two people because you can, um, you know, you can plan kind of a strategy ahead right. with the AI. Right. Uh, the AI doesn't cut it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't plan with that. <laughs> exactly. So, so here I have to like pull this down. Both of us have to do it. So it was just like walk up and pull the chain. It's a little more boring when you're playing with an AI, but, you know, it's more difficult because the guys are going to shoot at you and kill you very easily. So... Can't uh, quite get the, the same um, planning that you could, or the same um, uh, level of thought when you have two people working at it. Right. You can see the—they call it the Allegro meter. That's uh, that's the thing that's right above. It turns red when I shoot. Oh, okay. Because they see me shooting, and then they come after me. And then you'll see my my partner. He, he never gets that. <laughs> I'm like, come on. But um. You know, it's a little more difficult to control. You know, they should do like a first person one, a first person army of two, or like an online one where you could have like army of four or something, you know, something cool like that. They should take this game to the next level because it deserves it. It was very innovative when it came out. Right now it's uh, free, free on Xbox Live. Oh, really? So this game is completely free. Uh, and I give it uh, eight phalanges because it's, it's a little above average. Uh, the date really doesn't show. You know, it's still got pretty good graphics, uh, well-designed levels, and there's a lot of strategy involved in it. So, you know, I give it give it extra points for that. I like games like that. You can't just run through them. Like most of the Call of Duties, you just run through, you die, no big deal, start over, go again. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the last guy of this level. He's the, he's my contract. Usually they're bad guys that the that the uh, government's after. Anyways, we just get paid more, hmm. so, so we're going after them now. <laughs> That's interesting. And you say it, it's held up well. Yeah, it has held up well. The, you know, you still have the uh, controls are a little. You can see how I aim, and I'm usually missing. Um, but the con, you know the controls are they were, they were never that good. But you know you get used to it and you can play it. 
So uh, I like I like it. Is it for um, Xbox only? Uh, I think it was out for PlayStation as well. It's an EA okay. game, so I'm pretty sure it was out on all the platforms. All right. Yeah, it might, might even be able to get it for the PC. I'm just throwing grenades around. I'm going to blow myself up again, <laughs> like I usually do. <laughs> it's all right. That's like, how you learn. Like I did in uh, Battlegrounds. <laughs> Drew, and Drew was like, what did you do that for? <laughs> I remember that. I came in ninth. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh, and you'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> I know. I could have won. Then you get these little uh, graphic sequences. Hopefully I got all the curses out of there, but... <laughs> That's that's the guy who was on there. That's the guy we were trying to capture. He's captured now and dead, probably. We got to get out of there. He blew himself up. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> then you get to choose like uh, cool cool things. Like you have face masks and stuff, and you can choose between these two these two characters, and they have different skills. One of them's like way stronger than the other. One of them's, you know, uh, a little smaller and can move around a little bit better, more mobile, has different weapons. And they, their look is different, the appearance of them, so it's pretty cool. One of them has, like, a mask with, like, flames on it and stuff. It's pretty cool. Hmm. But that's that's the show for tonight. I have uh, next, I tried to get some Dragon Dragon Ball Fighters footage, but um, the, the network wouldn't let me even get into a fight. That game has a long way to go, and it comes out in, like, two weeks. Oh, wow. So So I might pass on that until I see, like, if it's working. I'll probably see a lot of complaints online, but it's a good game. I just want to want it to work when you when you purchase it, you know. And um, Metal Gear Survive has a uh, beta out now. I'm going to try that hopefully tonight or later this week. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Monster Hunter comes out very soon. Monster Hunter World. That's going to be awesome. So we should have that. And if I don't know if you want to be on the next show. You can do like uh, Hollow Knight. Some video of Hollow Knight would be nice. Hollow Knight's a nice game where um, you basically like uh, your knight uh, evolves throughout the game. Um, but you can tell us about that next week if you want. That would be pretty cool. But that's a good game. Yeah, that's been great. Um, that's It's like a, uh, like Dark Souls meets an Ori type of game. Um, uh, I've been uh, playing a lot of that. So yeah, very good. yeah. It's, I, I've heard of it, but I haven't played much of it. Um, yeah, so i uh, see some of that next week, maybe. But anyway, that's our show for tonight. Thanks for watching. Catchphrase. Awesome. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.